waves, getting waves. Getting waves is hard, but it doesn't have to be. By following a simple morning routine, you can quickly and easily make progress on your waves daily. So today I'm gonna to show you a morning routine that you can replicate and do every single day with ease. By following this morning routine, you will experience these things. One, your hair is gonna really pop out. Two, you'll be able to dramatically speed up progress on your waves because you're doing this every day. And three, you'll experience a dramatic increase in your hair health, which will not only make your waves look better, but allow you to make progress even faster. And I'm going to reveal the secret to getting rid of frizz, which will allow your waves to be laid and look good for the majority of the day. So this is a morning routine. Now the main objective of a morning routine is to really just put your waves back in place using softer brushes to get ready so it looks good throughout the day or to just prep your hair for your main brush session. You primarily want to be using brushes from the medium all the way down to soft. Now, especially for morning routines, you don't have to be wolfing, you don't have to be an elite waver, you can be a beginner, you don't even need to have waves, and you really don't even need that many supplies. All you really need is a soft brush and oil. Now, I'll be using a medium soft brush and three different soft brushes, but that's just me. But this should be an easy morning routine that you can do every single day, and as a beginner, you will make progress on your waves following this. And another essential thing you'll need is a handheld mirror. If you really want to get waves, you really what you really need is a brush and a handheld mirror. You're not allowed to brush without one of these. So the first thing you want to do is start brushing with the hardest brush you have available. So if you're probably like an intermediate to elite waver, you'll probably have like a medium soft brush you can use. But if you're a beginner, you can just go ahead and start with your soft brush. But I'm going to go ahead and start with this medium soft brush just to hold my hair and put it in place a little bit. Now you don't really need to use this brush for that long. I would say go for around five to 10 minutes with your hardest brush, but no harder than a medium brush. The main objective with using your hardest brush for the morning routine is just to just pull your waves, pull them in place. That's all we're really trying to do. We're not trying to go too crazy. Just pull them and put them back in place. You may have had a wild night. Your do-rag may have fell off during the night. So this is what you want to do. I don't know what you were doing at night. You could have, something crazy could have been. <laughs> You want to make sure you're brushing the way that's more comfortable for you. Now, a lot of a lot of wave YouTubers on camera, just because this is the easiest way for us to show you our waves clearly, we brush like this, right? But really and truly, the way I brush is like this. And you y'all can't really see my waves, which is why you never see wave YouTubers brush like this. Now, the main problem with brushing your waves like this is that you see your waves from a very one-sided perspective. Now the main secret to getting waves, it's not even a secret, but nobody tells you this. It, I don't know why, because it, it's the unsexy answer, but it's focusing on your crown. You see this area right here? Focusing on brushing this. This is the foundation to your pattern. Now, let's just say hypothetically, you're born and you have a perfect beehive crown and there's nothing you can do to get rid of that. If all you have to do is just follow your crown angles and in a matter of time, you'll be flawless. If you have a messed up crown, it will show throughout the rest of your waves. Like, let's say, okay, this actually, I'll use me for example. This side is basically flawless, right? But if I had, and this has happened to me, but if I have a fork in my crown, or like, it's uneven, that fork is gonna have to come down all the way here and take super long to come out, getting rid of my flawless side. So, no matter, even if it's ugly, even if it's not enjoyable, it's not as cool, Focus on brushing from your crown and going down. That is the secret to getting waves. And a morning routine is the perfect time to practice that because you're using softer brushes, it's harder to you know make mistakes that are really hard to reverse. So now that your hair is lifted up, your hair is pulled a little bit more down, now it's time to use the soft brushes. But before we do that, we wanna go ahead and use some oil. Now, typically, you see a lot of videos, they go ahead and they use like a pomade like this or they go ahead and use a moisturizer. For the morning routine, you want to stay away from the heavy duty products and you want to use more of the, the lighter oils. This is because usually when you use products like a butter or a moisturizer, they're more, well maybe not for butters, but they're more, they can be more water-based 
And when it's more water based, it makes your hair more frizzy if it doesn't have enough time to fully set in your hair. So that's why you wanna be using your oils and your sealant products. So I'll go, go ahead and be using this oil. You wanna make sure whatever products you're using are all natural. I have a full hair care guide that explains why, but if you really wanna take your waves to the next level or your hair health in general, you really wanna make sure your products are all natural. What this basically means is that it has either 10 or less ingredients. Like this pomade right here. You wanna make sure you know what the ingredients are and that there's around 10 or less. That's a good rule, general rule of thumb to follow. Especially with oils, pomades are a little bit more complicated. So on average, they have a little bit more ingredients, and but they're also a little bit more unhealthy on average. But for oils, you wanna really make sure 10 or less. And you wanna make sure you get it in your crown too and apply it through. You wanna dry crown and like, for especially like the 216 wavy hair grow oil, like your corners and your crown are usually the first places to go. So just make sure you put a little bit extra oil there, you know? And all products I use will be in the top link in the description, as always, with a little promo code so y'all can save a little bit more. So now you wanna go in with your soft brush. If you're a beginner and you only have one soft brush, that's okay. You can brush with your, with your soft brush for a little bit, for like five, 10 minutes, and then you can put oil, then you can start brushing with your soft brush again. Because I'm not wolfing, I don't need to use a bunch of different types of soft brushes. I really need to only use this one. So I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do so I don't over overfeed you beginner. So you don't get information overload. So go ahead with your soft brush and use this for around five to 10 minutes. My hair is really short. The shorter your hair, the less you have the brush. But if you're a beginner, you will still make progress. It's like the gym. If you go to the gym and you even like touch your weight, you're gonna make progress. If you're a beginner, if you put a brush on your head, you're gonna make progress. Using the soft brush is the perfect time to really just look at your angles, focus on your angles, and learn your angles. You don't have to brush like this really fast. All you really gotta do is just be careful with your strokes. Be nice, careful with your strokes, and really learn your angles and learn the best way to brush your waist where it flows. And as you know, brush from the crown and go down. But using a soft brush is really like practice. It's like practicing your angles. Another thing why I like to only use soft brushes in the morning is because when something, how you get shine. You get shine when something is laid down and light reflects off of it, right? So when you're using a soft brush, you're laying down your hair. So if you're using a soft brush and you're using oil, that's the secret to getting shiny waves, just like that. And that's also why, typically when your hair is at a lower cut, why it's easier to get shine. But when you get shine when you're wolfing, when you can maintain your wolf and get it to shine, bro, and lay down, it's, it's, it's magical, magical results, man. I can model JMD, so yeah. <laughs> Shout out to model JMD. Like for me, I'm I'm an elite waver, I think. And I have four more forks left. When I get rid of these forks, I'll be flawless. But you see here, brushing with a soft brush allows me to really focus in and hone down on my angles. So now I can really practice the angle I'm gonna need to hit right here, right? Even though I'm probably not making that much progress because I'm using a soft brush and I have, my hair's a little bit thicker on the top even if I cut it to 1.5. I'm, I'm still making progress because I'm learning. I'm learning the right way to brush my hair. And when I go on with my normal brush sessions, like especially after you get a cut, that's like the best time to make progress anyways. So you should brush a lot after you get a cut. But I'm learning. Once I do my normal brush sessions, boom, I'm gonna be hitting it. And I'm gonna make this for This wave come down here. That wave come down here. This one's gonna be disintegrate down there that wasn't come out then these two i'm gonna go on one or two more wolf sessions and just melt them out and we're gonna be flawless <laughs> but yeah right here's the angle i gotta hit boom okay now after you've gone on with the soft brush from about five to 10 15 minutes now is the time that you want to lay down your hair now if you're a beginner what i want you to do is go ahead go in your pantry and look for a ziploc bag and put it on your hand for an elite waiver, you probably already have something like this, a lay down pad. I'm just gonna go in just for myself with this super soft brush. I learned this from 360 Juice. I saw him using this and it's like the coolest brush ever. Now, if you're a beginner, if you're an elite waiver, if you're flawless, this is like completely useless. But I just like how it feels. I like to practice my angles with this. And I think it lays my hair down a little bit better. But once I start wolfing, I'm gonna show y'all another morning routine, my wolfing morning routine video, where this brush can actually come quite in handy. Now, another reason why I think this brush is actually quite useful is because when you're on a fresh cut, when your hair is lower, the plastic bag method isn't as effective for whatever reason. 
So this kind of just supplements it a little bit better, but we're still gonna go in with our plastic bags. So this lay down pad is a little bit harder than this one. They'll be linked in the description if you wanna try them out. But I like using the harder plastic first and going in with the softer practice. Beginners don't get overwhelmed. This is just extra measures to laying down my hair. Typically you want a plastic bag for around five minutes, five, but my hair is really low. The lower your hair, the, the less you really have to do it as well. It's very, the plastic bag method is one of the best methods for when you're wolfing though. And wolfing is the best, the second best time, but the best longest sustainable time to make progress in the waves. Best time to make progress in the waves is after you get a cut. All right, now that basically all my little prickly hairs are laid down for the most part, I can actually just go out like this. But if you if you just want to make it a little bit better, this is really you can really only do this on a fresh cut. Just go out like this. What I'm gonna do since I'm probably gonna be working out and doing stuff, I don't want to mess up my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and rag up. So I'm gonna use this lay down, not lay down pad, a crown patch for my crown. Then I'm gonna go ahead and rag up with a do rag. Now, I used to see 360 Juice use his do rag after he gets haircuts all the time, and then I just started copying him and doing it too. So I think this is a pretty cool thing. So if you want to get this do rag too, link in the description. All right, now you wanna be ragged up for around 30 minutes. Because your hair, if you're beginning, your hair is gonna be relatively lower. You wanna wait around 30 minutes before you take off your do-rag. So do this before you take a shower, before you go out. So I'm gonna come back in around 30 to 45 minutes and I'm gonna show you guys the results. Right. So after around 30 minutes, your hair should be ready to unrag. After you take your do-rag off, your waves should be nice and laid and ready and looking good for school, work, or whatever you have to do during the day. Watch this video right here to take your waves to the next level. Thanks for watching. God bless. Huh.